Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Vermont County Principals Association, we'd like to welcome you to the Keith Gibson alongside Easton Hoskins as we are prepared to bring you the championship game of the 2014 Boys Vermillion County Basketball Tournament from the David S. Palmer Arena. And Easton, it's going to be fun. We've got the Westville Tigers taking on the Bismarck Henning Blue Devils. And we've got a packed house. I mean, there's not maybe a seat scattered here and there, but... I mean, this is a packed house for this ball game tonight. Yes, it is. It's going to be a great matchup. You got Westville Bismarck, Millis versus uh, Coach Clapp. You know, you got a lot of matchups going on here. A lot, it's going to be a lot of battles. It's going to be a fun ball game. We're got introducing the, starting lineups. We got the cheer side. squad later. The cheer squad battle later. I mean, they, they already had their competition this morning. They're going to be announced at halftime. That's right. That's a really that's a lot bigger thing. I've been I went to my first one this year to support uh, my school, and it, that's a lot bigger thing than I thought it was. This, the seats were just as full as they are right now. It's going to be a great ball game. We're excited. It's going to be the slowdown offense of the Westfield Tigers against the size and shooting of Bismarck Henny as they are announcing the starting lineups. Jordan Romo going to start for Westville, who's played a great tournament. Not scored a lot of points, but played great defense and done the intangibles. And we'll get you the entire starting lineups in just a few minutes here, right before tip-off. Six-foot senior, number 15, Dalton Pilligan. Jeff Mills, I believe, is going to go with the same starting lineup that he's had throughout the whole tournament, which will be Justin Atino, number four, number 11, Jeffrey Thompson, number 15, Dalton Hillegas, number 21, Kyle Brazos, and number 23, Jordan Romo. And Keith, uh, I know you guys mentioned on Thursday you like the new uniform for Westville. I haven't seen the, these are the first time I've ever seen the orange ones for or, or Westville. Yeah, I like these are very nice. They're very sharp. Yep, Old new uniform this year. In the orange and black trim tonight. And Bismarck, or excuse me, yeah, Bismarck hitting in their white with blue trim. Starting for Bismarck tonight. Will be number three, Dylan Allen, number 12, Andy Bott, and number 14, Dustin Ingram. Number 44, Looks like number 20, number 15, excuse me, Chase Conley, and number 44, Wild Gorowski. So we are just set for tip off. We thank you for joining us here on 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com as it's a championship game of the Vermillion County Boys Basketball Tournament, the Westville Tigers, the Bismarck Henning Blue Devils. And we are set to go as Gorowski and Atino will tip it off. And the tip is off and it's Gorowski with the tip. Back to Dylan Allen and we are underway. Allen brings it across the timeline and will set up the offense for Bismarck Henning. Over to Ingram on the right side. He will dribble left to the free throw line, now spins. A nice little spin move there, and to Allen, they get it into Gorowski. Gorowski turn, looks, misses the free throw. Loose ball, picked up by Conley. Back out to Ingram, Ingram drives, floater in the lane, no good. Gorowski the rebound, tip to Conley, and it's up and in, and Bismarck Kinney gets the first bucket of the game. And now Westville will have the basketball, as it's Jordan Romo on the right side across to Thompson. Brazos now at the top of the key. Over to Romo on the right side, and he'll dribble back to the top of the key. Westville will slow things down and make sure they get a good shot. Now Brazos just inside the three-point line at the top of the key, dribbles left and goes to Thompson. Across court to Romo, inside to Brazos, the free throw line to Thompson for three, long, and a rebound by Gorowski, who gets it up to Wheeler quick, who gets it up to Ingram for a layup, up and in. Quick start here for the Blue Devils. A nice lead pass by Gorowski out to Wheeler. I told, or excuse me, Dylan Allen. Allen got it up and uh, got it into Ingram's hand. So it's four nothing Blue Devils. And you're right, Easton, that's a good start for them. Yes it is, especially with this Westfall team. Westfall, they're very patient offense. Don't score, they don't score quick points in bunches. 
Westville will lull you to sleep, and then all of a sudden they get a wide open layup. As Thompson has the basketball, gets across court to Romo. Back up top to Kyle Brazes. Coach Mills very animated, and I'm sure he's fired up this evening. As his Tigers work the ball around the perimeter. Brazos has it on the right side. He'll dribble back up to the top of the key and get it to Jeffrey Thompson. Over to Hillegas on the right wing, and they are being very patient, Easton. Yes, they are. Romo's got it. He will dribble back up. Not really looking for a shot here as Brazos gets it over in the corner to Hillegas. And it's just a nice, nice motion offense right here from the Tigers. They're just running through, cuts and passes, wait until somebody gets open on a breakdown from the defense as Bismarck Kenning's in a 2-3 defense here. I look for Thompson on the right wing. He has Wild Grouse. He's stepping out on him. Maybe he can drive baseline around him. And Thompson shoots a three and hits. That's a great call, Easton. Thompson hits the three, and the Westville Tigers are on the scoreboard. It's 4-3 Blue Devils with 5.18 to go. Allen now trying for three to answer. Can't hit. Rebound by Hillegas. He will get it to Thompson, who brings it across the timeline. Over to Brazos on the left wing and back to Thompson. And we'll see if Westville slows it down again. I look for him, too. Five Brazos. minutes to go, four to three. Bismarck Henning leading Westville. Brazos with top of the key. Over to Jeffrey Thompson. Thompson now gets it to Romo over on the right side. Romo will drive right and then kick it to Hillegas. They get it inside to Atino. Atino, a short jumper just inside the free throw line is short. And a rebound grabbed by Wagorowski and the Blue Devils. He gets it off to Dylan Allen. Allen now over on the right side to Ingram. Ingram drives left, pulls it back out, drives left again, and now picks up his dribble. They get it inside, and it's going to be a tip ball, and it's going to be Bismarck basketball as Brazza steps on the baseline out of bounds. Dustin Ingram to inbound for Bismarck Kenning as they lead 4-3, 4.22 to go in the first quarter. They get inside to Andy Bott. Bott inside to Gorowski, up, no good. Own rebound, up and good. Gorowski really doesn't have anybody who can defend him well except for Otino. And so Otino's got a big job to do tonight. It's 6-3, Bismarck Kenning now. As Romo has a basketball for the Westville Tigers. Gets it over to Brazos, over to Jeffrey Thompson. Back to Brazos on the right side. Brazos on a cut, gets it to Hillegas, and they just keep kicking it around the perimeter. Hill Romo now top to keep for Brazos for three. Get it out! Off the front of the rim, off the backboard, off the back of the rim, off the front of the rim, and finally fell out as Garowski grabbed the rebound and gets it off to Dylan Allen for the Blue Devils. 3.30 to go here in the first quarter, 6-3. Bismarck Kenny leads. Graski with the ball, left wing. Gets the bot, bot drives to the left, left-handed up shot, no good, gets his own rebound, up and good! So Andy Bott with a layup after an offensive rebound, and Coach Millis wants a timeout, and we'll take one with him. 8-3, Bismarck Kenny leads Westville in the championship game. You're listening to 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. Back at the David S. Palm Arena, Keith Gibson alongside Easton Hoskins as the Westville Tigers trail 8-3 to Bismarck Henning, and they have the basketball. Jeffrey Thompson now on the left wing, looking to feed inside to Tino, but can't find. 
Now Thompson will get it back and drive baseline, and he will be stopped, and now he will travel, and that's going to be a County Market Bakery turnover, and it'll be Bismarck Kenning basketball. County Market Bakery is your Village Mall Town Center in Tilton Bakery teams are ready to serve you seven days per week. For teamwork, you can count on your County Market teams. If you're Westville here, this 2-3 zone's really giving them fits. You may want to think about trying to screen the zone, screen the zone out of position to try to get yourself an open jump shot. And really, Gorowski and Bott have caused trouble as Bott goes up for a jumper in the lane, and it's no good, and a rebound by Dalton Hillegas of the Tigers. They're going to have to start cutting through the middle of that zone, too, if they want to score some points. Romo now with the basketball down the right corner as he picks up his dribble. Now Brazza's getting double teamed by Bott and Gorowski, and he throws it deep down the back in the court. Thompson able to get it as Ingram goes sliding for it, and he gets it over to Hillegas. Now back up to Brazos, top of the key to Romo, back to Brazos. Thompson for three, no good, and he will be fouled and will go to the cellular one free throw line for three free throws. And that foul on Bismarck Hennings, number three, Dylan Allen. That's the team first foul of the half in the ball game. Minute 38 to go here in the first quarter. Bismarck hitting Blue Devils lead Westville Tigers eight to three. As Thompson's first free throw is no good. Switch to cellular ones, blazing fast 4G speeds and great rate plans to get two months of free service. See your local store to ask how. Thompson has missed both free throws so far. He's got one more, but in a, in a game like this, free throws are gonna be important for a team that doesn't score a whole lot of points. Yes, it is, especially being down five. Thompson hits his third. He's got all four of Westville's points. 8-4 Bismarck, Kenny leads, 135 on the clock here in the first corner of this championship game. And that's gonna be an over back as Allen stepped on the line. And that's gonna be another County Market Bakery turnover. Your Village Mall Town Center, Tilton Bakery team is ready to serve you seven days per week. For teamwork, you can count on your county market teams. Allen's only a sophomore. It's almost like a sophomore mistake, first year starting. Maybe the pressure got to him and just went over and back without even thinking about it. I don't think he even realized what, you know, he knew what he was doing, but able to do it. Brass is in the lane for Westville. No good. Gorowski the rebound. Gets it out to Allen. And he now will go along the left side. Cuts down the middle of the lane. Layup up and good. And the sophomore scores. The fifth Bismarck Henning player to score in this ball game. All with a single bucket, but they lead 10 to four with a minute on the clock here in the first quarter. Westville with the basketball. It's Jeffrey Thompson on the left wing. Gets it over to Romo. You're right, Easton, this 2-3 defense by Bismarck Kenyon has given the Tigers fits. Didn't expect this with Coach, uh, you know, Coach Millis at the helm for Westville. Thompson with the ball now over to Brazos. Back to Thompson, top of the key. Romo on the right wing now. Boy, they're looking, there's just nothing there right now. Brazos on the right wing, 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Brazos now looking, Thompson, ball fake, and he's going to travel, and that's going to be another turnover. And checking in for Bismarck Kenny will be number 22, Chase Swinford, and he'll check in for Gorowski to give Gorowski a little bit of a break here and a little extra wind. Allen with the basketball for the Blue Devils, guarded by Hillegas as he brings it over the timeline. 18 seconds to go on the Education Personnel Federal Credit Union scoreboard. Allen now drives the lane, looks to lay it up on a runner and hits it again. I told you before the game, Easton, he's a special guard and he's proving it right now. 12-4 Bismarck Henny. Thompson will throw it out of bounds right at us. And that's gonna be a turnover with one second to go here in the first quarter. Bismarck Henny showing they have versatility here in the first quarter. They inbound it, Allen's shot, no good. It's gonna be well short. And after your first quarter of play in the championship game, Bismarck Henning leads Westville 12 to four. You're listening to the championship game of the 2014 Vermilion County Tournament here on 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. understand how bad I had to go. I was in and out in five minutes. What do you expect? <laughs> I had a turtle head poking out. It was starting to squirm. If this keeps up, no one get up. This keeps up, no one get up. 
Oh, yeah. I can't believe this. Keith Gibson alongside Easton Hoskins here at the David S. Palmer Arena. It's a championship game of the 2014 Boys Vermillion County Tournament as Westville trails Bismarck Henning 12 to four. They had the ball to start the second quarter and a jumper by Brazos was no good. Bismarck Henning the rebound and it's Allen who has it. Over to Logan Reefsteck who's got it, draws baseline. Down underneath to Allen who tries to reverse layup, no good. Blocked by Dalton Hillegas on a putback, and Westville will take basketball. Easton, it's been a, a trying first quarter for Coach Millis and the Tigers. Yes, it has. This 2 3 zone has given them fits all game. Got to get to the either get to the middle or try to screen in the zone. They're packing it down so far because they know Westville's not a good jump shooting team. Thompson with the ball, now over to Romo. Back to Thompson. Over to Brazos on the left wing. Thompson tops the key. Someone's got to have to drive and create. They just can't stand out on the perimeter if you're Westville. Romo with the, with the ball, top the key to Brazos. Back to Romo. That's all they're doing is going. There's go. Brazos in the free throw line. Now over to Romo. Romo a jumper from the right baseline. It's short. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. And it'll stay Westville Tiger basketball. Checking back in the game for the Blue Devils. Checking in back is Wild Gorowski. And Dustin Ingram for the Blue Devils. And I think Westville Easton's got to get Justin Atino involved as well. You got to try to. Try. Now Thompson with the ball off the inbounds will bring it out to the wing. Over to Brazos. And Westville almost looks a little bit lost right now in their offense. With Romo has the ball over on the left wing. He drives the baseline. And now back over to Brazos on the left wing. Romo takes a couple dribbles in, but then passes off to Brazos. Right corner and hits the jumper. Right corner of the free throw line, and he hits the jumper in his first two points of the night. And maybe that'll push start this Westville offense. They need one. 12-6 now, Bismarck Henning leads. Six minutes to go here in the first half of this championship game. Thank you for joining us here on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com. Ball inside to Gorowski, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound by Romo. Momentum for Westville. They got the made basket, then get a stop. Got to get a basket here, though. That'll get him right back in the ball game. Brazos top the key over to Thompson. Now on to Hillegas. Swings it around to Romo. Back to Thompson. Three pointer short. No good. Rebound to Tino. A Tino up, and he's going to draw the foul on Bot. Good offensive rebound by Justin Atino. And he picks up the foul on Bot, and he'll go to the cellular one free throw line. That's Andy Bot's first foul of the game. Team's second foul. And Otino at the cellular one line for two. Free throw on the way, and good. Big free throws there for the center for the Tigers. Switch to Sailor One's blazing fast 4G speeds and great rate plans to get two months of free service. See your local store to ask how. Atino's second free throw is good. So it's now 12-8 Bismarck Henning with the lead. Five and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Championship game of the Boys Vermillion County Tournament. Now Allen drives to the hoop, gets it down to Gorowski, turns, spins. And are we gonna, what are we going to have a call here? we got two whistles. And we're going to have a travel. Travel on Gorowski. So it's going to be a County Market Bakery turnover. Your Village Mall, Town Center, and Tilton Bakery teams are ready to serve you seven days per week for teamwork you can count on your County Market teams. Easton right now, Bismarck Henning hasn't put any points on the scoreboard here in the second quarter. No, they haven't. Uh, they've been a lot of momentum towards the Tigers. Turnovers and missed shots by the Blue Devils and good possessions from Westville. And that's allowed Westville to get back in this game as they trail 12-8. Romo up along the baseline for a jumper, and he will be fouled. And he will go to the cellular one free throw line. And that foul on number 44, Wild Gorowski. That'll be his first, team third. And Jordan Romo will go to the free throw line. 
Romo's first free throw is good. And so that cuts the deficit to three. Romo, a 5'10 senior for Coach Millis and the Tigers. His second free throw up and short, and Garowski the rebound. Otino's out for the Tigers. You've got to give it to Wild Garowski in the post here if you're Bismarck. That's a great point, Easton, and I, I agree with you totally. You've got to work it either to Bott or Garowski in the post. Bott's got it at the free throw line. Stop, jumper, no good, and a rebound by Jeffrey Thompson and the Tigers. And they're going to look to maybe push a little bit here. With Otino out, they're going to have some more speed. Checked in the game for the Tigers was number 13, Austin Flynn. Now Romo with the ball for the Tigers. Back to Brazos, top of the key. Thompson drives baseline, nothing there. Kicks it back out to Romo. Over to Thompson, left wing to Brazos. And another slow process of possession of, of uh, the basketball until they get an open look, and so far it's paid off. It's almost like an art of beauty to teach, you know, 14 or 15 to 18 year old high school guys to, to be so patient and unselfish at the same time. 3.53 to go here in the first half. And Brazos hits a, looks for a three from the corner. And it's going to be off. And we're going to have a loose ball foul. And it looks like it's going to be called on Hillegas. And it will be. That'll be Hillegas's first foul. And team foul number one for the Tigers here in the, in the half. So. Both teams doing a great job of not fouling. Bismarck hitting leads 12-9 over Westville. 3.40 to go here in the first half. Bott with the basketball for the Blue Devils. He's trying to get it down low and knocked out of bound by Brazos. And it'll stay Blue Devil basketball. Neither team really putting up a whole lot of points. And, and Blue Devils still not put up a point here in the second quarter. No, they haven't. What a great defense here by the Tigers. Five minutes and 30 seconds of no, uh, no score basketball. Has, you've got to be happy for Coach Jeff Millis. Right. Allen now driving down the baseline for Bismarck Kenny. Puts up the, there we go. There's the first bucket. That's his sixth. Drives baseline, hits the layup. It's now 14-9, Bismarck Kenny. Thompson brings it across the baseline for Westville. Over to Romo. On the right side, back to Thompson at the top of the key. They're just going to work it back and forth to each other here. Now back to Brazos on the left wing. And they're just looking for a good shot as they've done this entire second quarter, which has allowed them to get back in the ball game. 2.50 to go on the clock on your education, personnel, federal credit union scoreboard. Tigers so patient on offense, Easton. It's Rumble. like an art of beauty. It is. Left wing drives, now kicks it back to Brazos. Not in any hurry. Now Thompson for three, in and out. And a rebound by Botts for Bismarck Henning. Gets it over to Dylan Allen, who's going to bring it across the timeline. Let's see if the Blue Devils can extend their lead. Dribbles left, gets it inside to Gorowski. Gorowski up and no good, but he's going to be foul. And that's going to be on Kyle Brazos. Brazos first, team second. And Gorowski will go to the free throw line. The Sailor one free throw line for two. Switch Sailor one's blazing fast forward. He speeds and great rate plans to get two months of free service. See so your local store to ask how. And Gorowski hits the free throw. He's now got three in the ball game. Not a bad looking stroke for the big man. No. And his second one on the way is no good. Long rebound by Thompson of Westville. 15 to 9, 216 to go here in the first half. Bismarck hitting with the lead over Westville. Jordan Romo with the ball, top of the key. Over to Kyle Braz's left wing. Over to Thompson. Thompson hasn't shot real well as he has the all tournament here tonight. So maybe we can find something to get him going. To Romo now, right side. Thompson with the ball inside to Brazos. To Romo. And they just work around. They're looking for a shot, just nothing there. The long arms of Gorowski and Bott are giving them problems. Yes, they are. Maybe they try to attack the left side of the zone with Conley sitting over here. And now Flynn, who's the smallest guy on the floor, matched up against Gorowski as he kicks it back out. Now to Thompson, ball fake. Nothing there. And now over to Romo. Back to Thompson, top of the key. Somebody's got to cut. Somebody's got to move in this offense if they're going to want to score here. I think Dal Dalton Hill got to stood in the same spot for 40 seconds. Maybe he's got to slash through the middle of the zone like Brathis just did right there. And now a minute 15 on the clock, and they, they got it down low but had to kick it back out because nothing was there. Fans rise their feet for this long possession. We're now over a minute of possession for Westville. 
and they still haven't took a shot yet. 15-9, Bismarck Henning leads. We're now under a minute to play in the first half. Romo around the right side to Brazos. Inside the paint, and he kicks it back out. Inside to Brazos. In the paint, jumper no good, and the ball will be tipped, and Connolly with the rebound for Bismarck Henning as we have 40 seconds to go. They have a six-point lead. So over a minute possession for Westville goes for nothing as they get one shot and done. Now inside to Gorowski up for a layup. Turnaround jumper is good. He's now got five, and it's an eight-point Blue Devil lead. Now Coach Millis hollering. He's starting to get a little animated on the sidelines for the Tigers as they trail by eight. They take it around the perimeter to Romo. Romo now top the key. He'll look to Brazos. Right wing to Romo. Inside to Flynn. Flynn will kick it out. And we go back outside to Thompson. Thompson drives baseline. Jumper up and no good. Rebound by Gorowski. And Braz is going to be called for a foul over the back, and that'll be his second. It's a bad Team foul third. to pick up with two seconds to go, 95 feet away from the basket. Two seconds to go on the clock. Bismarck Kane leads 17 to 9 here in the first half. They will take it out of bounds. They try to go deep to Bott. Bott catches it, layup is good at the buzzer! What a pass by Dustin Ingram, hits Bott on the fly. Bott with a layup and scores and moves the lead to double digits. 19 to nine, Bismarck Henning leads Westville at the half. You're listening to Championship Basketball on WDAN 1490 and VermillionCountyFirst.com. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, that was a hell of a pass. I would not want to be in Westfield's locker room. Oh, um, God. No. That was pretty cool, by the way. He put Cox in. Cox tore his ACL. He just can't play, but he got him in the game. That was pretty cool. What's that? Taylor Cox tore his ACL. He just he can't, he can't play at all. He's got him in the game. He just got him in the game. Finishing in third place, the South Fork Storm. Ooh. In second place, Georgetown Buffalo. Who won first place? Oh, come on down. Keith Gibson alongside Easton Hoskins. We are at halftime of your 2014 Boys Vermilion County Tournament Basketball uh, here at the David S. Palm Arena as the cheerleaders are being recognized for their competition. And Georgetown Ridge Farm with second place this year. And uh, they're getting ready to announce the first place championship for the cheerleaders. And it's the... Oakwood Comets. Oakwood Comets, as they are announced as the cheerleaders of this year's tournament. It is 19 to 9 here at the David S. Palm Arena with Bismarck Henning leading the Westville Tigers. And really, Easton, uh, you know, we're talking halftime. It's been a, a great game by Bismarck Henning where they have really had balanced scoring. Very balanced. You have Wild Gorowski with five. Chase Conley had two. Dustin Ingram had two. Andy Bott had four. And Dylan Allen had six to give them their 19. All five starters.
Still nine here at halftime, and your halftime is brought to you by First Savings Bank. First Savings Bank of Danville, located at the corner of Williams and Walnut Street, serving Danville since 1880. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back shortly with uh, the second half and our keys to the second half, Easton. And uh, you're, we're excited to watch the second half because I think Wes was going to make some changes. But Me too. We'll talk about that when we come back. You're listening to High School Basketball on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com. tournament as Bismarck Henning leads Westville 19 to 9 at half. You're listening to high school basketball on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com.
do want to go to a pot of seed. Text, text him. I sent him a text. We're back here at the David S. Palmer Arena where we've begun the second half. Bismarck Kenny has had two quick buckets, one from uh, Chase Conley, and the other just came from Dylan Allen. Westville with the basketball. Tanner Cox with the ball and has it knocked out of bounds by Bott. Checking into the game Justin the Tigers, Atino Justin will Otino. check back in for Dalton Hilligas. Bismarck Henning leads 23 to nine, 556 to go here in the third quarter. Cox now over to Romo. And Westville's gonna, Easton's gonna have to score a lot of more points more quickly. They can't take, you know, two minute possessions and get no points as they turn it over. County Market Bakery turnover as it's stolen by Wild Gorowski. He gets it out to Dylan Allen who brings it across the timeline for the Blue Devils. They have a 14 point lead in this championship game of the 2014 Boys Vermilion County Tournament. Allen now drives the lane to the right, and it's taken away by Romo of the Tigers. And he gets it out to Brazos, who will bring it across the timeline. Let's see if the Tigers do it. move a little bit more quicker on offense. Over to Tanner Cox, who came in to start the second half. Cox now from the right wing. He'll look back up top to Romo. Over to Thompson. Inside to Braz, inside to Tina, who's got the look. No good, and it's off, and a rebound grab by Dylan Allen. Those are shots they have to make. And now the Blue Devils, Ingram with a shot as he drives up. No good. Rebound by Romo over the Tigers. And he gets it up to Thompson. Thompson now slows it down and has it at the Cox at the top. To Brazos at the free throw line. Inside to Tino for an easy layup. And that's what they've got to do more of, Easton. Yes, it is. Collapse the zone, find the open man, and uh, Justin Otino laid it right up and in. 
That's only the Tigers' third field goal of the entire game. They had one in the first, one in the second, and now one in the third. Allen now drives from Bismarck. Kenny drops it off to Connolly for an easy two. And Connolly now has four here in the third quarter, and it's 25-11, Bismarck Henning. Cox with the basketball for Westville. As they move across, shoots a three, and it'll be short. Air ball out of bounds, and it'll go back to Bismarck Henning. Austin Flynn will check back in for Cox. And it's 25-11, as Bismarck Henning will have it out of bounds. Dylan Allen will bring it across the line. Easton Westville's going to have to figure out how to get some offense here in the second half. They're going to either maybe get, try to find a way to the free throw line or something. As now Ingram will drive and kick it out to Bott at the top of the key. And Bott looked for Allen on the right wing but throws it out of bounds. It's only the fourth Bismarck hitting turnover of the game, Keith. County Market Bakery turnover. Your Village Mall Town Center and Tilton Bakery teams are ready to serve you seven days per week. For teamwork, you can count on your county market teams. Jeffrey Thompson with the ball on the left wing for the Tigers. Over to Austin, ooh, excuse me, Austin Flynn. Flynn now to Thompson for three, no good. And Garaski with the rebound who grabs it over the top of Atino. And Bismarck Henning stops the Tigers from scoring again. Dwayne, Dylan Allen now with the ball on the left wing for the Blue Devils. Over to Ingram. On the left side, Ingram makes a cut out past Romo. Gets it inside and it's gonna be knocked out of bounds by Connolly. And it'll be back to the Westfield Tigers. 3-0-1 on the clock here in the third, 25-11 Westfield leads. As West, or excuse me, as Bismarck Henning leads. Westfield now trying to push the basketball and put some points on the board. Full packed house here tonight, here at the David S. Palmer Arena for this championship game. Atina with it down low and it's knocked away by Gorowski. Ingram now will start the break and a beautiful pass to Allen. And Allen called for the travel. And I'm not sure where I saw that travel. Easton, did you see a travel there at all? I saw a jump step. That's what I saw too, but they, they call him for the travel. So it's a County Market Bakery turnover for the Blue Devils who lead 25-11, 2.30 to go here in the third quarter. I thought that was a very well-run fast break myself. Me too, and uh, I guess we may have missed a step. Thompson for the three for Westville is long. Rebound by Andy Bott of the Blue Devils, and he will bring it up the floor. Across the timeline, guarded by Thompson. Working back left and right. Gets it to Dylan Allen. Allen now the top of the key to Logan Reefsteck who throws it away as Romo takes it. Over to Brazos who looks to push it a little bit for Westville. To Thompson who drives baseline, jumper up, no good. And a rebound by Connolly for the Blue Devils. Westville right now can't buy a bucket, Easton. No, they can. These are jump shots that are normally made by, you know, on an everyday occasion by Westville. And they, it just, I don't know if the pressure's just getting to them, but they cannot make jump shots right now. Thompson's had a great, but he just can't afford it to find it right now as Dylan Allen drives to the hoop for Bismarck Henning and will get fouled on his way up. And that foul is gonna be on number 23, Jordan Romo. That'll be his first, team first here in the second half. Minute 37 to go here in the third quarter. Bismarck leads Westville 25 to 11 in your 2014 Boys Vermillion County Tournament Championship. Allen will hit the free throw. He's got three in the quarter and nine for the game as he will have a second opportunity to Sailor one free throw line. And it's up and good. So he's now in double figures with 10, 27 to 11. The Blue Devils lead the Tigers, minute 35 to go. Kyle Brazos drives down the middle of the lane, kicks it out to Thompson, who kicks it to Brazos back in the left corner. To Thompson, who ball fakes, but now kicks it back out to the wing. Now out to Flynn, to Thompson, who has, been struggle shooting right now, Can't needs to find a rhythm. Brazza is now with it on the top of the key to Flynn. Flynn looking to work inside. Nothing there, over to Thompson. Thompson dribbles right to Flynn, and still nothing. They're gonna have, and now to Brazza's left wing three, no good, and a rebound, loose ball is to Hillegas. Hillegas throws it to no one, but Jeffrey Thompson there to pick up the loose ball. 
And now we're going to have a foul on the play, and it's going to be on the floor. And it'll be on number 33. I think they say, I think he flashed the three twice, saying it is on Dylan Allen, number okay. three. Dylan Allen, second. You are correct. I thought he said 33 there, but Westville with the basketball. Jeffrey Thompson has it right wing. They're trying to feed it inside to Tino. Nothing there. Out to Brazos. And now the pass is picked off by Bott, and he tips it back in, but it's going to get out of bounds underneath the Blue Devils basket. I thought he was coming right at us there for a second. Me too, Keith. You would have had him, wouldn't you? I would have, yeah. I'd have caught him one-armed. 27 to 11, Bismarck leads Westville. 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Westville is just struggling to find offense right now. Atina with the ball in the right corner to Brazos. Now to Flynn at the top of the key, back to Brazos. They've got to get some shots up and shots up quickly. Now to Thompson, they might hold for one though to end the third quarter. Flynn now drives, nothing there. This two, three defense from Bismarck Kane has just caused nothing but trouble for the Tigers. Flynn now with the basketball. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Thompson with it now in the left corner. He'll drive, ball fake. Over to Hillegas for shots, no good. And we have one quarter to play. Bismarck Henning leads Westville 27 to 11. You're listening to the boys Vermillion County Basketball Tournament Championship on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com. They scored two points. Two points. Yep, agreed. Keith Gibson alongside Easton Hoskins here at the David S. Palm Arena as we begin the fourth quarter of the 2014 Boys Vermillion County Basketball Tournament. And it's 27 to 11. Bismarck Henning leads Westville in this championship game. Westville Easton just not able to get any offense. Two points in the third quarter. They've scored four in the first, five in the second, just two in the third. And it's been all Bismarck Henning so far. Bismarck Henning's doubled them up here, Keith. You could add all, all Westville's points together right there. Jeffrey Thompson travels. You could add all Westville's points together, and they still wouldn't catch with Mark Henning. Great point. It's a county market bakery turnover. Your Village Mall, Town Center, and Tilton Bakery teams are ready to serve you seven days per week for teamwork you can count on your county market teams. Dylan Allen with the basketball for the Blue Devils as he comes across the half-court line, guarded by Dalton Hilligas. Gets it to Andy Bott along the right side. Bott now dribbles left and gets it to Growski, who hits Allen back. Growski now looking to post up against Atino. Allen now drives, looks to dish, and he will be called for travel. And so that's another county market bakery turnover for the Blue Devils. That's just their fifth, correct? Uh, six. That six. makes six. Okay. Seven minutes to go. 27-11 Bismarck. Kenny leads. Bismarck Henning High School could have a wonderful weekend as the girls won last night and the boys could win today. That'd be a clean sweep this year for the uh, Vermillion County Basketball Tournament. Brazza's shot from the top of the key is long, rebounded by Botany, gets it out to Allen. Allen now working left side. He's gonna go around a screen from Gorowski. And now Hillegas is gonna be called for the foul as he was all over him as he was trying to get it to Gorowski on the pick and roll. Yes, he was. So Hillegas will pick up his second foul. Team second. 6.29 on the clock. 27-11 Bismarck Henning leads Westville. 
Inbounds pass to Ingram, back to Allen. And they look inside to Conley, who's wide open for the layup. Good find by number three, Dylan Allen of the Blue Devils. Dylan Allen, I told, I said he was one of my keys to the game here before we started, and he's played fantastic for the Blue Devils tonight. And he's only a sophomore. 29-11 now, six minutes to go here in the championship game. Bismarck hitting leads Westville. Jeffrey Thompson, a three from the left wing, and he hits. He's going to have to hit a lot more as they trail by 15, though, with six minutes to go. Bismarck Henning and Dylan Allen brings it across the timeline. And they're not getting in a hurry now. They're going to work the clock. No, they're not. And, uh, Keith, I really expected Coach Millis to be a lot more animated this half, and he's, he's been a lot, really quiet, actually. Bott puts up a shot from three, no good. Rebound by Conley, pass over to Allen, and he is fouled, and he'll go to the cellular one free throw line. You know, Coach Millis, you're down 15. There's there's not much you can do. Really, Bismarck Kenny just played really well tonight. That 2-3 zone has given Westville fits. They haven't been able to get shots. Their size, their length has really just, they've been the better team tonight. Yes, they have, and I didn't expect it to be this much of a deficit. I, I mean, coming into the game, I thought there was a pretty good chance Bismarck Kenny could come out of here with the win, but I didn't think it would, it would be a 16-point win if it, would, if it were to end right now. Dylan Allen hits his first cellular one free throw, and his second is on the way, and good. Four for four. He's now got 12. Switch to cellular one's blazing fast 4G speeds and great rate plans to get two months of free service to your local store to ask how. Jeffrey Thompson with the ball, now on the left wing, gets it inside to Atino. Atino backs in against Garaskin. It's tipped away by Connolly and picked up by Ingram, who gets it over to Bott, who passes to Allen. And the Blue Devils now are five minutes away from sweeping the championship here at the Vermilion County Boys and Girls Tournaments as they lead 31-14 over Westville here this evening in the Boys Championship game. That foul on Hillegas as he was reaching in away from the ball. Austin Milholland. And Milholland will come in, Austin Milholland, number five, will come in for Justin Atino. As the Connolly will get the inbounds pass, no good. And Brazos a rebound for the Tigers. They trail by 17 with five minutes to play. Gets it up to Romo, over to, that's number five, Milholland. And his jumper is short, and, and Westville just can't hit a bucket. They can't get a break right now. You know, hit the, hit the side iron, rolled rolled all the way around the rim and fell out. That's just the story of the night for Westville. Dustin Ingram with the ball for Bismarck Henning on the right side. He will drive baseline. Kicks it across to Dylan Allen. Allen inside to Gorowski, and he will be fouled. And it looks like it'll be called on the floor. And that's on number 23, Jordan Romo, his second, team fifth. 4.37 to go, 31-14, Bismarck Henning leads Westville. And now the inbounds play, passes picked off, and that's Jeffrey Thompson up to Hillegas. Hillegas layup, no good, he misses the layup. Rebound by Brazos, he throws it up, out of bounds, and it will stay, no, it's going to go to Bismarck Henning, and now Jeff, Coach Millis is not happy with that. And that's going to be a timeout for Westville with 4.28 to go. They trail 31-14 to right Bismarck Henning. You are listening to Championship Basketball from the David S. Palmer Arena on 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. Bismarck wins. You hear me? Eric? Clean sweep of Bismarck wins. They won last night, too.
Keith Gibson alongside Easton Hoskins here on 1490 WDA and the David S. Palmer Arena as Bismarck Kenning leads 31-14 in this Boys Vermillion County Tournament Championship game over Westville. 4.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Westville with the basketball. Out of bounds underneath their own basket. Kyle Braz is looking to get it in. And he'll go deep into their own side of the court to Jeffrey Thompson. Thompson now working inside to Romo. Thompson now a three from the top of the key is short. And it's a rebound for Wild Gorowski. And he'll get it to Dylan Allen who will bring up the court for the Blue Devils. And Easton, that's what it's been all night. Westville gets a shot, one and done on their end. And Bismarck Kenning has been a lot more efficient on the offensive end. Yes, they have. It's uh, Both teams are really lulling you to sleep because Bismarck's, is, they're finishing on the end of that. And that was steal by Jordan Romo as he'll push it up the floor. And Inger will be called for a foul as Romo tried to drive to the hoop. Dustin Ingram, that'll be his first foul. Don't Team second of the half. You know, we haven't had a whole lot of fouls on either side. Though we have with the rest of really about letting them play here. And they're playing it pretty clean. There's not, there's not been a lot of uh, dumb foul calls or a lot of contact. Logan Reefstick will check in for Blue Devils as Jeffrey Thompson hits a three from the top of the key. And now it's 31-17. That's his second three of the quarter. And it's going to be a timeout for Westville. And we're going to stay right here. You know, last night, Easton Bismarck Henning won the girls' side. And we talked about it. They could do a clean sweep. They lead by 14, 338 to go. I'm not going to count Coach Millis' team out yet. Neither am I, but the, 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 most likely Bismarck Henning will win this game. But I'm not, I will not count Jeff Millis out until the final horn sounds. You know, and it's something that you've got to, they've got to shoot better. They haven't shot well all night. Uh, they haven't got to the free throw line. They, they've turned the ball over. How many turnovers does Westville have right now? They've got, I think, five or six. Five or you six. Know, which isn't a whole lot, but when you have minute and two-minute possessions, it can turn into a lot. Yes, it can. So 3.38 to go on the clock. It's 31-17. Bismarck leads Westville as we are here at the David S. Palmer Arena. It's a 2014 Boys Vermillion County you know, Tournament like Championship right game. After the game, we'll have the Aqua Illinois and Mr. Trophy All-Tournament team for you to announce, along with uh, some stats and highlights brought to you by country financial agent Dave Harvey. Bismarck hitting with the basketball, 3.35 on the clock. And now Westville looking to press a little bit. And they will break the press, and it's Andy Bott who has it across the timeline. And now he's got it in the corner. That's not one place you want to get trapped in. Dylan Allen now got it. Now back to Bott. And they're going to slow it down here, just play keep away. And Bismarck Kenning will have it now over to Allen. They're doing a great job of just moving the basketball and not letting Westville take it or pick a foul up. Westville's got a lot of fouls to give. They got two fouls before they can send Bismarck in the free throw line. And now we're going to get a foul as Bott drove to the lane. And that's going to be on Thompson. And that's going to be his first. Team six. So they won't send Bismarck in the free throw line yet. We're under three minutes to play. 31-17. Bismarck Henning leads. And we're going to have a... Foul on Romo before the inbounds play. And that's going to send them a little. Before the inbounds even started, there was a foul called on Romo. And now that's the seventh foul on Westville. Which isn't bad for them, so, I guess. No clock ran. Yeah. And so now Logan Reefstick will go to the free throw line. His first one is good. Jordan Romo's third foul, team seventh. And the second sailor one free throw from Reefstick. Is up and no good. And a rebound by Conley up and back in for a two. Chase Conley. It's now 34-17. Bismarck Kennings, they doubled up Westville. Westville will now drive. 2.44 on the clock. Romo for a three. No good. Rebound by Connolly. They get it over to Bott. And now that Westville's going to try to, to pressure here. But Bott gets it up to Reefstick. Over to Allen. They cross the 10-second line. Over in the left corner to Bott at the top of the key. Connolly now, backdoor cut, and it's Gorowski for a wide open layup. Wild and Coach Millis just, he just shakes his head because there's not much else he can do. That was a great job by Bismarck Henning to cut 
through the, through the uh, pressure as Kyle Brazos hits a jumper from the free throw line. And another timeout, and we'll keep it here again. Brazos now with just four points in the ball game. Thompson with uh, 10, he's the only Tiger in double figures. And that's just because he's hit two threes here in the fourth quarter. Yes it is. 36-19, 2-11 on the clock on your education personnel Federal Credit Union time and scoreboard. Proud to have served a million county educators and their families for 76 years. Stop by the Credit Union today at 1102 North Walnut and see how EPFCU can be your financial home. And, and I am very, very impressed uh, Easton with Bismarck Kenny. Me too. They did a they've done a great job this afternoon. They've been efficient. Efficiency is probably the if I could describe them in one word, that's what I would do, that's what I would describe it. They've efficient been very, on defense and on offense. They've been very efficient on offense, but they've also taken Westville completely out of their game. And Coach Millis does like to slow things down, but that two three defense has just stopped Westville from getting any shot around the perimeter and stopping them from driving because they are so long and big. As we come back from the timeout, Bismarck Kenny will get the ball. Out of bounds to Bot. Bot picks up his dribble underneath Westville's back as basket gets to Reef Stick. Reef Stick now to Ingram and it's taken away by Westville. Brasses from the left wing hits. And now he's got two straight jumpers and it's 36 21 with under two minutes to play. Dylan Allen has the ball, gives it to Reef Stick, and we've got a timeout by Bismarck Kenning. And it's going to be a 30, so we'll stay here again. Nope, nope. he's going to say full. Timeout called by the Blue Devils. And so we will take a timeout with them with a minute 51 to go. 36-21, Bismarck Kenny leads Westville in the championship game of the 2014 Boys Vermillion County Basketball Tournament. You're listening to high school basketball on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com. I gotta be up in, at the mall at eight o'clock in the morning Ooh, for a bridal shower. I am. We come back from break. Bismarck Kenny tried to get the ball inbounds. It was stolen by Jeffrey Thompson, who took it down the lane and laid it up. So it's 36-23 Westville. Bismarck then turned it back over. So Westville with the basketball as Kyle Brazes now gets it at the top of the key to Romo. Over to Hillegas. Ball fake. Over to Romo. They're going to have to score quickly. Romo right wing for three, and he hits it. Uh-oh, mercy. And a timeout by Coach Millis. And it's now a 10-point deficit with a minute 15 to go. And it's going to be a full timeout. A 30-second. We're going to keep it here. I told you don't count Coach Millis' team out. And all of a sudden, he's went from down 17 to down 10 in a matter of about 25 seconds. Yes, he has. Uh just, that's just that if he would have, if he, I think if, you think if he pressed this whole game, if he's in the press he's in right now, do you think it's a different ball game? Yeah, it might be. You know, I'm not sure, but you know, he's this press is working right now. They've scored nine, 13, 15 points alone here in this quarter. They only scored 11 in the first three quarters alone, so maybe that's what they needed to go to earlier. But they trail by 10, 36, 26 to Bismarck Kenny, with a minute 15 to go on the clock. The Blue Devils have the basketball as Bot gets ready to inbound it underneath Westville's basket. Inbound to Allen. Back to Bot. Bot now in the trap. Gets it to Allen. Cross court to Ingram. They get it to Gorowski. And Gorowski throws it back out top to Bot. Minute to go in the ball game. And it's going to be a foul on the Tigers as Bot will go to the cellular one free throw line. And that foul is going to be on number 23, foul Jordan on Romo, his fourth. His fourth. Team eight, checking into the game for Westville will be Austin Milholland. 
as Andy Bottle go to the free throw line. Sailor one free throw line. First one up and good. Andy Bott with five now. Minute one on the clock, it's an 11 point. Bismarck Henning lead, 37-26. Bott second free throw up and good. Big free throws for the uh, Blue we Devils. We are now under a minute to play. Thompson brings it down for Westville. Braz is a long three, in and out, off the back iron, rebound by Dylan Allen of Bismarck Henning. And now he gets over to Bott. Back to Allen. He goes across the line to Conley. Conley now, we're gonna have a timeout by Bismarck Henley who was trapped. And so with 43 seconds to go, Bismarck Henning calls a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here. 38-26 Easton. And now it, you may start to see this game come to closure. Yes, uh, you know, 12 points, it's a big deficit for 43 seconds. And Bismarck Henning, Next Westville foul after that, they're going to be shooting two free throws. Right. And Bismarck Kenning's only missed two free throws on the day out of their 10 they've shot. Very good day from the free throw line. They've gotten there a bunch too, and that's what's helped them have a 38, 12-point uh, lead, 38-26. 43 seconds to go here in this championship game from the David S. Palm Arena of the 2014 Boys Vermillion County Basketball Tournament. Bott gets it inbounds to Gorowski. Back to Bott along the right side, and he will be fouled by number 21, Kyle Brazos. That'll be Brazos' third, Brazos, team third. ninth. Team and ninth. so Bott will go, go the line the for Blue one Devils. and one. Andy the next foul by Westville will put the, the Blue Devils in a double bonus and give them two, but this one will be one and one as they lead by 12. Bott's free throw up and good. They have shot, I mean, free throws win you ball games along with defense. And when you make that, good, that many free throws, you're gonna win. Bot second one, up and good. He now has eight. It's 40 to 26, Bismarck Henny. Thompson with the basketball from the left wing. Three is short, rebound by Bot, And he's gonna look to get it up to Gorowski. Gorowski gets tipped and takes it. Gets it up to Ingram and can't get it to Ingram and it's gonna fall out of bounds. No, saved by Conley and Westville has the ball. Thompson with the basketball. Now a three-pointer shot up by Milholland. No good. Gorowski the rebound. 14 seconds to go. Over to Conley. Over to Allen. And they're not going to foul. And they're just going to run out the clock. And Bismarck Kenny is going to have a clean sweep of the Vermillion County Tournament this year as the Blue Devils beat Westville 40-26 to here in the boys' championship game. We will be back with stats and a wrap-up, including the all-tournament team here on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com right after these messages. Are you going to do... Are you going to do player of the game? Are you going to give one? No? Okay. Friday for bed. What? To the mass, Friday for bed. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we would like to present the second place trophy, the second place team in the 2014 Vermillion County Basketball Tournament, the Westville Tigers! Ladies and gentlemen, your 2014 Vermillion County Tournament Champion, Bismarck Henning Blue Devil! Keith Gibson alongside Easton Hoskins here at the David S. Palmer Arena. The Bismarck Henning Blue Devils have just captured the boys' Vermillion County Tournament Championship by winning 40 to 26 over the Westville Tigers. We're gonna we're going to run down some stats and then we'll get to the all tournament team presented by Aqua Illinois and Mr. Trophy. For the Westville Tigers, it was a rough night. Shooting wise, they couldn't get much going offensively. Only 11 points through the first three quarters. They put up 15 in the four, fourth quarter and were led by Jeffrey Thompson with 12, followed by Kyle Brazos with six, Justin Atino with four, and Jordan Romo with four will round out your scoring for Westville. Bismarck Henning, 
a lot better on the offensive end, very efficient. Had a great game tonight from, uh, from Jace, Chase Conley and from Dylan Allen, the sophomore guard. Allen led the way with 12, Conley with 10, Wild Gorowski with seven, Andy Bott with eight, and Dustin Ingram with two, and Logan Reefsteck with one. That's a 40-26 win for Bismarck Henning. The girls won last night, the boys win tonight. It's a clean sweep for the Blue Devils, and uh, your Aqua Illinois and Mr. Trophy All-Tournament team. Riley Goodwin from Georgetown Ridge Farm. Parker Lee from Oakwood. Mason Layden from Hoopston area. Max Stutzman from Salt Fork. Ross Leonard will join him from Salt Fork on the all-tournament team. From Bismarck Henning, Chase Conley, Dylan Allen, and Wild Gorowski. And then Jeffrey Thompson and Kyle Brazes from Westville. That is your Mr. Trophy and Aqua Illinois All-Tournament team. Aqua Illinois is pleased to announce convenient new locations to pay your water bill. See Aqua Illinois for all the details. Mr. Trophy awards for all occasions, family owned and operated for over 30 years, 354-49-45. Once again, we wrap up the Vermilion County Tournament here on WDAN. It's a clean sweep for the Bismarck Henning High School Blue Devils as the girls win on their side. The boys win tonight at 40-26 over Westville. We want to thank all our sponsors who have uh, helped make this a possibility all week long. I want to thank Easton tonight for being with us. I am Keith Gibson, and we will see you back for high school basketball on Tuesday night from uh, Schlarman High School on K-Rock 94.9. You can join myself and Eric Westfall as we'll bring you more high school basketball coverage. So once again, it's a 40-26 championship win for the Bismarck Kenny Blue Devils over the Westville Tigers. Check out VermillionCountyFirst.com for all the podcasts of all the games played this week, both boys and girls. If you want to listen to the championship game once again, or if you maybe had missed one, for Keith Gibson and Easton Hoskins, this is 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com. Good night, everybody.